the avian influenza outbreak is not an issue for people. Uh, it is a, a chicken disease in, in the United States and is not something that consumers need to worry about in terms of the uh, healthfulness of chicken meat or eggs. So chicken and eggs are safe to eat and the, the average everyday consumer doesn't need to worry about avian influenza from that standpoint. The outbreak that we've had so far is not going to affect the price of chicken or the availability of chicken in the market. The commercial broiler industry in Alabama is very large and poultry overall brings in about $15 billion to the state's economy and uh, hires 85,000 people in, in uh, jobs in Alabama. There have been some outbreaks of avian influenza in Tennessee, but uh, what we found in Alabama has been through just routine surveillance. We're always uh, monitoring for this disease and the stepped up efforts we've had since the, the uh, avian influenza in Tennessee has shown some, some avian influenza in birds that were not sick. Well, there's a lot of people in Alabama that have small flocks of chickens. And with the avian influenza outbreak, they need to tighten up their biosecurity, uh, reduce the number of visitors, make sure that visitors are, are wearing clean clothes and have not been around other poultry. They need to exclude wild birds from around their birds so that uh, uh, avian influ influenza does not get passed around. As of today, there's a stop movement order uh, for poultry in Alabama, which it doesn't mean that we're not going to move commercial poultry around the state. What it does mean is we don't want to get chickens and people together in, in various places where disease might be spread around. That would include uh, poultry shows, it would include um, livestock auctions and things of that type. 